Coach Todd here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can lose weight with Body Beast. It's not possible. No, it's necessary. Yes, it is possible, but first I want to show you something. I'll show you something real good. You ready? Come in. Come in a little closer. Body Beast is very, very simple. Okay, if you're gonna follow the Body Beast nutrition plan, that is designed for gaining mass. If you follow that, you're not gonna see fat loss. Okay, that is designed to increase muscle mass, and in doing so, you're gonna gain a little fat during the process. You've got fat. So I want to show you a formula, a very simple formula that I use that is that Beachbody uses. This isn't my advice. This is Beachbody. So I do want to mention just so. The trolls don't go all crazy and try and sue me that anything I talk about in this video that you try, I am not liable for. You are doing these things at your own risk. So there's the legal crap. So I'm going to show you a formula where you can calculate your nutrition so that you can lose weight with body beast. And what I want you to do is I want you to maintain the most muscle mass possible during that process. And I want you losing a bunch of muscle. So. How to lose weight with Body Beast. You're not following the Body Beast nutrition plan, so what nutrition plan are you following? I'm telling you to follow the P90X nutrition plan. Pretty simple. Can you see that? It looks, it looks small on the screen. All right, but the P90X nutrition plan, and what I recommend, what I did to lose 60 pounds was I followed the Fat Shredder plan. The Fat Shredder plan is based on 50% of your intake coming from proteins, all right, 30% of your intake coming from carbohydrates, and 20% of your intake coming from fats. That's amazing. <laughs> and the way you calculate this out is I'm gonna put a link on this page somewhere, on this video, and it's gonna show you how you can use MyFitnessPal to set this up, okay? Now, what do you do for calorie intake? Calorie intake is simple. In order to lose weight, you gotta be at a calorie deficit, okay? You don't wanna be at a surplus, which is more calories than you're burning each day. You wanna be at a def deficit, which is you wanna be taking in less calories than you're burning each day. And in order to calculate what your calorie intake needs to be in order to maintain your current weight. It's very, very simple. There's a little formula for that too. I'm going to do that in my blue pen. Nope, it's a red pen with a blue cap. <laughs> All right. So here's how you can maintain. Oh man, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, it does. All right. Here's how you can maintain your current weight. All right. You take your current body weight. So we're going to call that BW. All right. You can see that, right? We're gonna take BW. We're gonna multiply that by 10, okay? That's gonna give you your resting metabolic rate, okay? Your RMR, okay? This is just what it takes to just be, to just be you, all right? And then you're gonna take what's called an active burn. You're gonna take that resting metabolic rate, okay? You're going to multiply that by 20% or 0.2, okay? And that what, that, what this will give you is your active burn. It's so simple. This is how many calories it's going to take in order for you to pump blood, fill your lungs with air, expend air from your lungs, and, and just, you know, casual walking everyday life. Okay, then you're gonna take that aid, you're gonna take your resting metabolic rate plus your active burn, all right? And then you're going to add your exercise burn. With a Body Beast workout, you're probably burning about two to 300 calories. So you're gonna take RMR plus AB plus your exercise burn, where EB, equals, you know, 200 to 300 calories, all right? And that is going to give you your calorie intake to maintain. 
All right, calories to maintain. Simple, simple formula, all right? You have to be below this number in order to lose fat with Body Beast, okay? Now, if you're 200 pounds overweight, I do not recommend following this because this is gonna put you at a calorie intake to, of like, you know, 4,000 calorie, above 4,000 calories in order to maintain. You're like, well, if I eat, if I eat you know, 3,800 calories a day, I can lose weight. Uh, not as fast as you want to, okay? Not good. So what I recommend, and again, this is just my opinion, this is what I've learned over time through, through researching, uh, if for ladies, for ladies, simple. 1,400 calories is about the minimum we're gonna we're gonna put the lady, the lady right there. 1,400 calories is about the minimum you want to go when you're doing an intense workout program. Any lower than that, and um, you're just sort of risking going into kind of a starvation mode. Not all ladies go into starvation mode below that, but 1,400 is safe for men, for the dudes. For dudes, all right, that number is 1,700 calories a day. You don't go below that when you're doing an intense fitness program. They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Some guys can get away with it, but normally, guys, 1,700 is about as low as you want to go for uh, a calorie intake each day. That's a good deficit that'll help you lose weight and still maintain uh, your muscle mass, okay? So, P90X Fat Shredder Nutrition Plan, 50% protein, 30% carbs, 20% fats. You can set that up in MyFitnessPal. I got resources on this video to show you how to do that. You can use this formula here to calculate how many calories it takes to maintain your current weight. If you're way, way overweight, okay? If you're, you know, 60 plus pounds overweight, um, then, then I recommend starting off with one of these numbers. If you're a lady, 1400, dudes, 1700. And, you know, stick to this 1700 calories at these percentages for your macros and measure your progress after two weeks. And if you're making progress, continue that and continue that until you plateau. And then when you plateau, you and I can talk about what changes you need to make. So if you have questions or when that happens, be sure you email me at coachtoddatripclub.net. If this video was helpful, be sure you smash that thumbs up button and let me know. If you did not enjoy this video, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Uh, but it does help me understand what resources I create that is that are uh, valuable to you guys So hopefully this video did help you out though again. I hope you enjoyed the video take it easy and I think just I mean one more thing <laughs>